Well, good morning, welcome back. So on the agenda for today is to uh, get prepped here for a bin move, grain bin move that we've been talking about in some previous videos. Actually gonna do it tomorrow. We've got a, uh, a high lift or a telehandler or something of that nature coming uh, this afternoon. I actually rented it. Uh, we're gonna just do it ourselves. And we've done it before. Uh, it's not really too difficult if you kind of know a few little tricks. So I'm over here uh, where we did a few things. And the very first step in moving the bin is figuring out how you're actually going to lift it. Uh, I know that may sound intimidating if you've never done it before, but it's really not that bad. Uh, you just go up in the top and the bin is right out beside the barn door there. I don't know if you can see through the there he is down there uh, you go up in the top in the circle and put like a big implement tire truck tire something of that nature and bolt a bar across it and then you just raise your lift up there and hook to that so what i'm doing is this is the uh distributor here that was in the top of the bin and i need to measure how wide this span was so i know how big a tire to try to find so that's what i'm doing here And roughly, roughly two feet or so, thereabout. So we can use that number. Uh, and I don't think anything else on the trailer. There's the uh, unload auger laying here in the floor that we were able to get out and salvage in the center wheel there. So lots of just miscellaneous parts here on the trailer. So I'm gonna go back down the road, uh, get some stuff together and we got to get a trailer ready just lots of lots of things we're going to try for this tomorrow um so we'll see how it goes uh it's it's probably going to be a full day but to hopefully we can get it at least lifted uh tore down what we're going to try to do is get it down to uh just the roof and the very top ring and set it on a trailer and tie, fasten it down to the trailer and we've only got to move I think I mentioned it before when I was showing you guys that concrete. It's only, I don't know, two, three miles maybe. Um, but it's kind of a not so good road. So I have to be sure and make an extra flag man go in front. Uh, well, that saves a lot of time because all, not all of, but a lot of the time spent in constructing a bin is in that roof. Uh, each one of those little panels, uh, well, you may not be able to see them from here, but each one of those little panels in that roof is an individual piece and there's lots of bolts and everything has to be correctly oriented, orientated, oriented, whatever that word is, uh, for it to go back on correctly. So you save yourself a lot of time by leaving the roof and the top ring together. So that's what we're gonna try to do.
it up on the top. The water. What? No water. Gonna get up there. I guess I'm gonna get tractor loaded. You still gotta get all the way up to the top, don't you? Like the load won't get me high enough to get the... You have to ride on this thing. What's straight. <sighs> well, I could. Could I get that up over the hole and lower it down far enough with the ladder on the inside you could reach it? But then you gotta still can't get up top and work on it. <laughs> Took the ladders off too quick. <laughs> I guess. Give it a whirl. We ain't got no choice. Boy, I messed up. Well, I was planning on doing it the other way. Wait, could you bring the man killer ladder over here and lean it up? Yeah. And get up? I mean. Yeah. We're back there. Nah, you, so we gotta get oh, it. Stick it over and see if we can get this rope on there. Well, the top shut. I can't even stick it over in there. <laughs> you gotta go get a ladder. My truck's gonna jump it nearly all the way. Her hook to one of these wagons, take it with you. Yeah. I had to put it on with the gold side down because it wouldn't go be long enough. Okay.
project, as you were seeing, uh, standing here in front of me, is uh, everything completed well, at least the, the walls, the hull of it is completed. Uh, there's the uh, fan, obviously don't have the fan on there just yet, but that's uh, probably gonna be tomorrow's project. And I'll take you guys around to the other side here, show you real quick what else needs to be done to this. And inside here, uh, there's still the concrete that we saw in an earlier video. And over there, that dark little strip at the bottom is the other side of where the fan actually blows the air uh, in through the grain. I don't know if you can hear me too good in there. It echoes a little bit. Uh, but we still obviously have to put the floor in there. Uh, so that may not be tomorrow's project, but soon to be. Uh, and another thing we have to do, actually, uh, well, let me get a jug of it and I'll show you. It's actually sitting right down here. So this stuff here, uh, roof cement, we call it pitch. I don't know if that's a technical term or a slang term or whatever the case is, but it's just really thick, nasty, black stuff that if you get it on you, it uh, doesn't really come off too well. Uh, not not really, almost have to have to wear it off to be precise. Set that back down there. But what you do with that, you just go along this bottom edge and there's places that uh, your concrete isn't exactly perfectly level and flat like for instance this space uh right under there you're gonna need to put some of that pitch as we call it in there and all that's gonna do is obviously when the fan's running blowing air under that little false floor that's about a foot tall the air then is forced up and through the grain instead of out any little space that you may have along the bottom so what we did today, uh, we did get it uh, anchored down here to the concrete. So now it's pretty stable. Uh, even if we do get a small wind storm, it should be here. Um, hopefully we're not forecasting any crazy weather. So we weren't overly concerned. Uh, there still sits the uh, telehandler. I don't know if you can see that with the sun in the background too brightly, but it did the trick perfectly. So. Uh, this guy that we rented it from, we never rented anything from him before, but uh, we got his name as a reference from a neighbor of ours, and uh, we called him up, and price was good, the machine worked fine, so I guess I could throw a little plug in here. Here's the uh, contact info for this guy that we got this from. Uh, they brought it to us they come and pick it up and all we have to do is refill uh, whatever fuel we used out of it which probably isn't much for what we did but we will do that and before it goes back so just wanted to update you on this and it is the close to the end of the day so i believe we're just going to let this wrap up the video for this portion of the bin move here it is uh, we did add a ring in there that's why you see some different colors and yeah you're probably thinking i see two different color rings uh, we staggered some sheets we had some sheets with some small amount of damage so uh, we replaced those but that's going to be the end of this video uh, as we get along a little further on the fan or the floor i'll try to keep you updated but uh, we appreciate you watching uh, we'd really like for you to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see uh, you can drop a comment down below if you have something you need to ask or would like to ask or would like to point out or have a question about or whatever the case is. Uh, but for now, I think that's going to wrap it up. So we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted on the rest of this project. The electrical is going to be a pretty good chore here, uh, but not too terrible. So nothing we can't handle. But we'll keep you posted on this. So for now, that's going to be it, and we'll see you in the next one.